What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. Today's video is another Shein haul. I feel like you guys are loving the Shein hauls right now. If you guys haven't seen my previous one, I'll link it in the eye as well as the description. I feel like this time around we've gone for more summer kind of vibes. I am totally ready for it. I'm just so excited for like the hot weather in the UK. It's kind of gone a bit like cloudy now, but last week, oh my god, it was so hot. So I'm really, really praying that that weather comes back because it just makes me so happy. Be warned, in this video you're gonna see a lot of really cute kitten heels, you're gonna see a lot of dresses, you're gonna see a lot of summer vibes and loads of colors. As always, all the links will be in the description, don't worry, I've got you. Just so you guys know, this video is actually very kindly sponsored by Shein, I'm working with them again and I'm so super grateful because I love working with them in the last video as well. But you guys know the drill, if there's something I don't particularly like in this video, I will let you know. If you guys are brand new here and you guys haven't seen my face before. Hi, I'm Roxy. Welcome to my channel. If you guys want to stick around, make sure you guys subscribe down below. But I guess it's time to show you guys what I picked up. I'm so excited. So without further ado, let's get on into the video. Okay, so here is my massive bag of Shein goodies. I'm so excited to just delve into this and show you guys what they've got on their website right now. Oh my gosh, this is feeling like Christmas already. But the first item I have is this one right here. And as you guys can tell, I'm matching with this color today. I've just been loving a bit of sage green. I cannot lie, it is my color right now. So the first item I have is a very gorgeous sage green dress. It's one shoulder, which I've been loving recently. There is a dog barking outside my window. I hope you guys can't hear him. It's always the little ones as well, am I right? Do you guys have a dog in your neighborhood that's like literally this small, but they make the most noise? I call them ankle biters. <laughs> So here is the dress. This is what the top half looks like. So it's kind of like a one shoulder situ, which I'm really, really happy about. I love this kind of style recently. It looks like it's quite a long dress. It kind of looks like a midi dress, but actually the reason why it looks this long is because you're meant to cinch it in yourself. So it's got like these um, drawstrings on either side and I'll pop the photo on screen so you guys can see what this looks like on. But once you kind of like cinch it in, it makes it a lot shorter than it seems, as you guys can see. Now you guys know me, I absolutely love ruched anything. I just feel like it's super flattering on the body. It hides all the lumps and bumps. And yeah, I think this is really cute. I absolutely love the color. I love the ruched effect and also the one shoulder. I feel like this is such a simple dress. It's literally just like a mint green ribbed kind of dress, but it looks really classy and chic. The quality feels really nice as well. It's quite like thick in fabric. It's quite stretchy as well, but it doesn't look like it'll be see-through. So I guess let's try this bad boy on and see how it looks. All right guys, so here is the very first dress and what it looks like on. Honestly, I am so obsessed with the color and the style. As you guys can see, I have ruched it right up. I've made it into quite a mini dress. I feel like with this kind of dress, you could totally customize it to whatever length you want because it has got these like ruching, cinching in things on the sides. So if you wanted to, you could totally make this dress short for the nighttime and maybe wear it quite long for the day time. I feel like it's very versatile. If you've been on my channel for a little while, you'll know that I'm pretty much obsessed with anything that is ruched. I just feel like it looks so flattering on the body. One thing I do have to say though is that these strings are quite long, so if you were to wear this out, you'd either have to like tie it into a little bow or maybe even cut them to size. But yeah, I really like how simple it looks. This is what it looks like on the back as well. It is very flattering. So this being the first dress of the whole haul, I feel like we're off to a good start here. I've got a good feeling about this one. Okay, the next item I have is this dress right here, which I, by the way, have been obsessed with this style. I've seen it from a couple of different brands, but a lot of the time they're quite pricey. So when I saw this particular style of dress on Shein, I just knew I had to try it. So it's gonna be quite hard to show you guys, but this is what the top half looks like. It's basically like, a little bikini almost top. However, it is connected to the bottom of the skirt with this like middle kind of panel. As you guys can probably imagine, it's quite cut out on the side. So if you're not really comfortable showing your sides like this, perhaps this dress would not be the one for you, but I really, really like the look of it. The fabric of this one is a lot thinner, so there could be potential for some see-throughness, but I guess we'll see in the try-on. I do really like the fabric though. It's kind of like a crimped sort of texture. 
I don't know how to describe it. It's like textured. Another thing about this dress that could potentially be a downside is the fact that it hasn't got adjustable straps. But to be honest, if the straps are the right length and it sits fine, then I don't really mind. But I guess everyone's body is different. So I guess we'll see how this looks on me. It is quite a long dress. It has got like a slit on one side as well. It's kind of like a midi dress, I would say. But yeah, I absolutely love this. They had this in loads of different colors. I went for the nude, of course. I feel like this dress is gonna be such summer vibes. So let's try it on and see how it fits. Okay, I am speechless. This dress is honestly so freaking stunning. I mean, look at it. I feel like this kind of cut with the cutouts on the side is just so amazing for the body. It just does wonders. It makes me look so curvy. I think it's mainly in this panel right here that kind of like draws and centers your attention to the middle part of your body, which I think just makes you look so flattering. That's why I've been loving this style of dress on so many people on the internet. I feel like the first person that kind of wore this style of dress was definitely Kylie Jenner. Now this dress did come in loads of different colors. I went for the nude and I'm really, really happy with it because I feel like I can pair it with so many things. The actual bra, even though it has no cups in it, it feels pretty supportive. And I can tell it's actually pretty thick and fabric because of the texture. You can't really see that I'm literally not even wearing a bra with it. Also, this is what the back of it looks like. It's very, very backless. It literally just looks like a little bralette and a skirt on the other side. But from the front, it is all interconnected. I honestly just love this style so freaking much. This is literally me in a freaking dress and I mean it. I'm so happy with this. So I'm gonna give this a 10 out of freaking 10. Okay, the next item is yet another dress. I'm really sorry. I just... I don't know what it was, but there were so many dresses on Shein that I just really liked and I've been feeling really dressy recently. I feel like you just can't go wrong with a dress. Am I right? Especially in the summer. So the next one I found is literally probably the most gorgeous off the shoulder dress I ever laid my eyes on. And it is this. How freaking pretty is this? I honestly am shook. It's such a gorgeous color. It's kind of like a vanilla kind of color. It's a little bit like yellowy, but still nude and kind of cream. I would say the style is a little bit different for me. It's very girly, very like floaty, but I really love this. I can't remember if the model wore it like this or if she wore it off the shoulders. I'm pretty sure it was off the shoulders. I like the fact that the dress isn't too long. It's still quite a short dress, but it kind of has that like baby doll sort of vibe to it. I think my my favorite part of this dress is definitely the sleeves. I just love how like floaty they look. They look so dainty and elegant. And the fabric that it's made from is very like sheer as opposed to the dress, which actually has like a little kind of layer underneath. In general though, even though it has got like an under layer, the under layer is still sheer. So I'm pretty sure if you were to wear this, you'd probably have to wear like nude underwear underneath. But regardless, I just feel like this would be such a cute summer dress. It's very breathable. It's very floaty, it literally weighs nothing. I definitely don't have a dress like this in my wardrobe at all. So I'm really excited to see how this will look on. All right, so here is the next one. This is the kind of like see-through through sheer chiffon kind of fabric. As you guys can tell, elephant in the room, you can see my green underwear underneath. So like I said, if you were to get this dress, it is beautiful, but you would have to wear something underneath it that's nude, just because you are gonna see your underwear, sadly. However, the dress itself is really pretty. I love the sleeves. Like I said, they're very floaty and really breathable. I love the fact that they're kind of like three-tiered. So you've got the poof here, you've got the midsection, and then you've got like the bell sleeve on the bottom. I get quite like Grecian vibes from this dress, is that just me? Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but I really, really like it. I probably won't give it as high of a rank as the other dresses though, because I'm not really a fan of sheer dresses. I just feel like sheer fabrics like this make it a little bit more difficult to be wearable, because you kind of have to like plan ahead and think of like what underwear you're gonna wear. So that's something you guys would definitely have to bear in mind, but on a general, I feel like the dress is really, really beautiful. I just love how girly and like delicate it feels. So overall, I think I'm gonna have to give this dress like a five out of 10 just because it's a little bit sheer and I'm not really a fan of sheer dresses. Okay, so moving on, I feel like we need a bit of a recess from the dresses. Don't worry, I've got a lot more where that came from. But I thought I would intervene with some accessories. I'm so excited for this combo. First item I'm gonna show you guys is actually a pair of shoes which comes like this. It's actually pretty interesting that these came in a bag rather than a box. Oh my God, these are so beautiful. I feel like you guys aren't ready. You're just not ready. Three, two, one. Look at these. Aren't they literally perfect? 
I feel like these kinds of heels have been so on trend lately, especially with a square toe, and I'm just obsessed with the color. If you've been on my channel for a hot minute, you'll know that I mostly wear like white, nude, beige, or well, just neutral colors in general. So I'm not really one to wear colors like this much. However, do you know what? I thought this summer I'm gonna experiment. I'm gonna wear all the colors I can. And when I saw these, I just thought they were a bit of me. These were so inexpensive as well. I swear they were like under 15 pounds. So these are really, really good value for money. They have these in so many different colors and they look like they'll be really comfortable. They have quite a lot of padding on the actual sole. I'm honestly just obsessed with these. I can't wait to wear them on holidays somewhere. They're just gonna look so cute. And then to go with those heels, I was kind of like thinking of a pop of color blue kind of outfit and I thought, Let's get a blue bag. I honestly have never ever owned any accessories in this color or like any out there color like this. So here is the blue bag. Isn't she beautiful? I'm honestly obsessed with this. This is giving me such Jacquemus vibes. I love it so much. I love the color. Now granted my silly self thought that these two shades of blue would match perfectly. Clearly that's my fault, but to be honest, they're not that far off. I think they would still look really cute together, but this bag is so adorable. So it's got the gold accents, which you guys know I love. This is how it looks when it opens up. It's got a little gold chain inside. I will be honest with you guys, the bag isn't like amazing, amazing quality. I would say it's definitely good enough, especially for how little this costs, but it would never compare to like a designer bag at all. I mean, there's like a little bit of a loose thread here and it's just a little bit misshapen. But to be honest, for what I'm gonna use this bag for, I think it's gonna be perfect because I'm not gonna use it every day by any means. I feel like this would make a really cute holiday bag if you're just popping out to the shops or going down to the beach. You guys are definitely gonna be seeing this little combo on the gram, so be sure to follow me at Roxoras. Okay, the next item I have is another dress. I feel like, do you know what? I should have just called this a dress haul. This one, oh my God, it is perfect. This is literally the perfect holiday dress. I just can't wait to be able to wear this somewhere. I love the neckline. It's kind of got that like milkmaid kind of vibes. I love the puffy sleeves so much is then cinched in in the middle with this really super stretchy waistband which I am just obsessed with and then this is what the bottom looks like it's quite like girly quite floaty I really really like it it definitely needs a steam so don't judge I can definitely see myself wearing something like this on holiday to just go exploring around town so let's go try this on and see how it fits okay so this is the next dress and honestly obsessed is an understatement with this one I am just so in love with it. I feel like it literally screams a summer dress. This is so beachy. This is so summery. I can't wait to wear this. I'm just getting such like princess cottage core kind of vibes and I'm here for it. First of all, can I just say the puff sleeves are just so princess like. This literally makes me think of like a Disney princess dress. We then have the baby doll kind of style waistband, which I really, really like. It's very comfortable. I still feel like I have a lot of room, but it's cinched in right to my waist. And and then lastly, I just love how the dress kind of like poofs out on the ends. It's really pretty and the fabric is really breathable and lightweight, which is definitely really important on a hot summer's day. This is what it looks like on the back. It's actually a really good length. I wouldn't say it's too short at all. It's like just kind of like halfway down my thigh. Also, I forgot to mention, I love the square neckline. You guys know I love anything squared like this. I just feel like it looks really flattering on. So this dress literally ticks every box for me. I'm giving this one a Mahusa thumbs up. I feel like it's really nice quality and it probably needs a bit of a steam. However, I feel like even so, it doesn't look that bad. Okay, the next dress I have is slightly different. I would say this is a bit more like dressy. It's not as casual as the other ones. I love it okay it doesn't look like much when i'm just holding it up but on the model it looked freaking beautiful okay it's kind of made of like this satin sort of fabric it looks so luxurious obviously ignore the fact that it's super creased i'm gonna have to steam it before i wear it but obviously it was sat in a packet for ages arriving to my house so that is why but i just love this so much i love the dainty straps they kind of go like this on the back and it is super super long it's got the slit on the side. I just love it. Again, it's got that like cinching kind of ribbon on the side where the slit is so you can kind of have it like a little bit ruched. I just love the fabric of this. I can't wait to try this on and hopefully it'll look as good as it did on the model. Okay, so here's the next one. This one is slightly more like extravagant looking. We've got like 
a bit of a full maxi dress kind of moment that's definitely more tailored towards the evening. As you guys can see on the side we've got this really beautiful kind of long slit that's kind of like attached to the super cinched in ruched kind of effect. I love the fabric, it feels really luxurious, it definitely looks it as well. And the actual dress itself is actually quite long, it does go all the way down to the floor which I think is really pretty. The only thing I don't really like about this one which really pains me because otherwise it would have been perfect but it does have quite a lot of room on the sides here and that's probably just me being quite a small chested girl. It's just not enough to fill. As you guys can see there is quite a lot of excess fabric right here and also on this side which I think is probably quite easy to tailor in so I might just send it to the tailors and get it cinched in. If it was like this it literally would have been perfect and I really really like the dress otherwise. However, there's just quite a lot of room in here. If you ignore that part though, everything else is perfect. I love the back as well. Look how freaking pretty that crossover detail is. And the dress itself really does look super luxurious and it feels so freaking nice. If it wasn't for these side boobs being a little bit too roomy for me, I probably would have given this dress like a nine or 10. However, I'm gonna have to knock it down to like a five, but only because I feel like it's pretty easy to fix. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna send this to the tailors because I do really love the dress. Now the next item is another dress. This one is another mint green one, you guys. I just love mint green. I really, really like this one because it's a little bit more casual again, but I feel like you could totally dress it up for the evening. The straps on this one are actually adjustable and I love the texture of it. It's like a super chunky kind of ribbed effect. As you guys can see, this is another mini bodycon kind of dress, but what I really like about it is the fact that it has these two slits on the front. Can you guys see that one there and one there? I feel like it just adds something a bit more like extra to the dress. I loved how this looked on the model. I don't know if I got the right size though because it looks kind of big, but I guess we'll see. Okay, so here is the next sage green dress. And as much as I love this and I love the style and the color and everything, I feel like I should have sized down. Don't get me wrong, it is quite nice in terms of fit and everything. It's cinched in at the waist, it comes out at the hips, it works perfectly, however, I do wish that it was a little like less baggy. I guess that's just down to preference, but I like my dresses to be a little bit like tighter and a bit more bodycon. And I feel like I do have quite a lot of excess fabric on the back. So if I did size down, I feel like that would definitely solve the problem and it would just be a little bit more fitted. But in general, the quality is really nice. It's not see-through and it feels really, really soft too. I feel like this kind of dress is the perfect type of dress to kind of throw over a bikini as you're going down to the beach. You know the drill. Again, it's very, very simple. But I feel like you could totally dress it up in so many different ways. So again, I'm giving this a big thumbs up. Okay, we have another dress. I am just in love with this one. Look how freaking cute that is. This is literally like modern day princess vibes. I'm getting cottage core. I'm getting princess. I love it. First of all, let's talk about the sleeves. They are so freaking cute. They're like puffy and then they're kind of like feathered out on the ends. As you guys can see, the top half of the dress is made of this super stretchy kind of fabric. I forgot what this is called, but I used to have tops with this sort of fabric on it so much. Yes, it is very stretchy, so of course it's gonna be really comfortable. And then the bottom of the dress it's just like this. It's super, super floaty. It's not too long. I love this and I love the color as well. Again, it's that really nice nude cream kind of color, which you guys know I love. The actual fabric of this one is again, kind of like, um, not silk, but almost like a chiffon, but it feels really, really nice and soft. So I can tell it's gonna be quite breathable. I guess let's try this one on and see how it fits. Okay guys, so here is the next one. Again, all the princess vibes. I honestly don't know what came over me to like literally get the same style of dress pretty much, but I just love this style so much. I just feel like these types of dresses are giving me all the summer vibes. I just feel so like, pretty in it, you know? I just wanna feel like a princess, basically. And this is probably the most wearable way to feel like one, so I'm gonna go with it. This one is kind of made of like a silky fabric, so I did have to steam it to kind of get rid of all the creases, but honestly, it was literally so quick. Again, it is super floaty. I love the fact that it's quite high-waisted. This part here is super, super stretchy and really comfortable, actually. I feel like I still got a bit of room under my armpits. It's not too, like, close, so I don't feel like I'll get sweaty in this. And yeah, it's just a really nice length. This is what it looks like on the back. I'm literally just obsessed. I love the color. I love the style. Again, 
and it's a 10 out of 10 from me. And now the very last dress of the video is this one. Now this one is actually very similar to the white one that I showed you guys with the puffy sleeves. It's literally exactly the same shape. It's got that same kind of like double stitched sort of waistband. As you guys can see, it is super, super stretchy, but this fabric is slightly different. It's a little bit more like silkier, do you know what I mean? Again, I'm obsessed with this color. I feel like brown is so on trend right now and it just looked so cute on the website. To be honest, I don't know why I picked up so many of the same style of dress. I just really like the neckline and the sleeves. But yeah, I really, really love the color of this. Again, I love the style. It's the same as the white one. So let's try this one on and see how it looks. Okay, and this is the very last dress and what it looks like on, I have to say it is very similar to the white one. As I said, it's pretty much the same style but in a different color and different fabric. But again, it's giving me all the cottage core vibes. I actually feel like the color of this one would go perfect in the autumn. Like, can you imagine it? This would be so cute. But of course, this could totally be rocked in the summer as well. I mean, it is a dress at the end of the day. Again, this type of fabric, it's not that crease proof. However, I feel like it probably needs a little bit of a steam. Yeah, again, I really love this one. Same as the other one. So I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10. And now the very last two items of the video are accessories. So the first thing I I have is another handbag again in a very questionable color for me anyway by the way I say questionable in the best way possible because I actually really like this for some reason can you tell by my makeup and my nails that I've been really trying to like get out there and wear more color so when I saw this I just thought you know what it is so out there it's such a loud color I just needed to get it I feel like this would be really cute and subtle with like an all white kind of outfit maybe with some matching kind of heels that are like this neon green I love love this so much. The quality of it is really nice as well. Like it's a lot better than the first bag I would say in terms of quality. This is how it opens and again it's got that same gold kind of chain as the strap. But this is honestly so cute and again they had this in loads of different colors. I just happened to pick this one. I really like the material that this bag is made out of. It almost just feels like latex. It's super like shiny and silky. I think this is definitely a statement bag I just needed in my wardrobe. I don't have enough statement bags. And now the very last item I have is actually another pair of shoes. I'm really excited for this one. Do you know what? I've been really experimenting with shoes as well. I never used to really like open toe shoes because I have a thing about like feet. But I've kind of been delving into the world of open toe heels and I'm really liking it. So I got this pair. Again, it's a very similar style to the blue pair, but this one is like quilted on the front. Also, the heel is slightly shorter and a bit more chunky, but I really, really love the color. I've got to say, I wasn't expecting amazing things from any of the pairs of shoes or handbags because a lot of the shoes on Shein are very affordable. And sometimes you kind of think like that's too good to be true. That's probably going to turn up on my house and it's going to be so bad. But that was not the case with these. Like I am really, really shook. To be honest, they look pretty well made. There's no loose threads. They look like they'll be pretty comfortable and the heel looks pretty sturdy as well. I really love the quilted effect on these shoes. I feel like they will go so well with this quilted kind of handbag that I already own so I can't wait to pair these together. So that is everything for today's Shein haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, seeing what I got. I know that this was mostly a dress haul, so I hope you guys don't mind that too much. Again, I want to say a massive thank you to Shein for working with me on this video. It's always a pleasure. I'd be really interested to know. Let me know in the comments, what was your favorite part of this video? What was the favorite item? Was it one of the dresses or was it one of the accessories? I honestly can't wait to wear all these things out and about. Maybe take them on a cheeky UK holiday. Who knows? As always, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys come and subscribe, come and join the dinosaur family if you wanna see more videos like this. Also, be sure to follow me on my social media at Roxaurus if you haven't already. I would love to hang out over there as well. But anyways, that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mwah.